Hello and welcome to another exciting video of Silky Beaks Developer Studio Pro. In this video, I'm going to explain you curves by using Silky Peaks. Even though I'm using this software, but this theory applies in every other software because this is a classic tool in photography and videography. Tone curve or curve is a very powerful tool. Once you master it, you can do anything you want by using just tone curves. Um, it's very easy to understand. In this photo, I have a photograph of a dark, a middle gray and white. And this is the tone curve. And the tone curve here, I have the luminance curve, which is the white part of it. You can of course control individually by uh, clicking red, green, blue and just luminance. Right now, I'm going to show you just the basic part of it, which is the luminance curve. Now, what is tone curve? So you have a box on top of it this section this is the white part of, or the brightest part and this is the middle which is this and the bottom part is the dark part same goes from left to the right so you have x-axis and the y-axis dark or black point is zero and the brightest part is 255 let me expand this curve pretty much the same size as the photograph so that it is easier to understand so i'm going to do that because you never you're not going to have a photo just landscape you're always going to have all kind of photographs such as landscape square uh, like portrait mode so it applies everywhere so i'm going to expand it as much as i can um, not too much i need some room but there you go so now it's pretty easy to understand. Now you can even put it on top of it. You can see how it looks like. See, very easy. So that's the dark and that's the white here and here. So the curve is saying that your photo starts from the dark zero all the way to the brightest part of the photo and how you can control it now. So I'll give you an example. See this line. So this is in 255. That's zero. You can click it. If you go all the way up, look at that. It's completely gone white. What if you do exactly opposite? I'm going to turn on, turn off my warning so that, oh, there you go. Now it should do the job. Now what if you do opposite? Go back where it belonged. And now I'm going to pull downward now. Look at this. Now it's gone completely black, which is the bottom part of it. See? So this bar represent each section of this photo in this section you had the bottom part was black i went all the way down to the black point and the whole photo gone black I, in previous time i went all the way up and the whole photo became white same if i go in the middle right there same as this photograph you'll see the photo will go gray check this out huh now you know exactly what it does you see that's how easy it is once you understand what your curve is doing this is super easy to understand super easy to control and now once you understand what the curve does you can manipulate contrast in your photograph you can always um let me go back a little bit go back to where it was now, generally in Photoshop, Lightroom, or uh, any photo manipulating software or raw converter, you have curves. And generally, when you understand curves, you don't really need any high-end software or sliders. You can just do use curves and even do local adjustments, such as generally you have things like add points. Um, some other software, they call it pickers, which means you click certain part of your curve Generally, in this photo, for instance, I just want to affect my brightest part of the photograph. I don't want to touch anything at the bottom, those two. Um, let's say your photograph is a sunset or sunrise, uh, where you have the brightest part is the sun going down or coming up, and the foreground will usually stay dark. And now you want to um uh, pull back or recover some highlight without touching the rest of it the middle or the dark part you can click there make sure 
you click straight linear not curve and check this out you can move it around without without doing anything to the rest the rest stays the same but you just affect the brightest part of the image you can even make see that in your um, uh, histogram in the histogram these three lines or here these three lines they represent dark mid-tone and the brightest part now you can see it's easy to understand where you are by clicking there and you just touch this you can even go way down to where the middle ground was and most likely they will look same if not close enough you can see that it's doing a fantastic job and you can control individually you can do exactly the same thing with your the the black point or shadow in this case let's call it shadow because it is shadow so you can click it there you can come back up and control your shadow exactly the same way you did with your highlight or the white point again you can do exactly the same with your mid-tone let's say it's not exactly mid-tone but it's somewhere near mid-tone so you can pull back down to make it dark all the way dark or you can go back up but as you can tell that if you overdo it your photo might give you weird result obviously it depends on jpeg raw or tip and it cannot exactly make it although you cannot do any drastic change you have to be very controlled you have to make sure that you're not overdoing anything it's a software it's not a magic box so you shouldn't expect too much of it but it can go uh, a pretty decent you can make a very decent change if you want to but not exactly it's never going to be exactly the same now as you can see i can with tone curve i can easily control my highlight mid-tone and shadow without affecting each other just by clicking the points uh, right now we go back we can we can uh, go back to default now i just showed you the luminous part but you can also do color let's say let's say in a situation where you have um like in 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 this photo you have the red in mid-tone and highlight a bit lower they're not aligned same as much as the shadow and you want that you want all of them to be in the same position so you have two options one bring the red up in both sides in uh, highlight and mid-tone or you can pull back blue channel and the green channel i'm going to go for the first one i'm going to uh, bring up my red so i click red put my point right there make sure they're 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 straight and then i'm gonna try to go back up pay good attention to the red in the mid tone right there i go down the back i go up they are going to be aligned this works exactly the same way if you have davinci resolve any kind of color grading software this is the same theory same logic behind curve so whatever you're learning right now you can use the same knowledge on your video software that how strong and powerful this curve is i'm going to do the same thing with my highlight i'm very excited about it because it's working and even though i know this how this is going to work but i'm still already happy check this out now generally in theory if you want to have a perfect white balance you should have everything aligned on white everything should be exactly in the same uh, location so i've done my red right now you say hey but what if i want to change uh, green or blue how i'm going to do that i don't have any layers here like uh, in the photoshop this photo this software is not the best in that case because i can do just do one at a time no you can do individually look again there you go you have blue same logic you can click in both side in blue you have to bring come backward behind so i'm going to pull 
eat down and man i cannot be more proud of myself these things works and it's classic it's very old it's been here for ages from the beginning of photography but it's just surprising and too good to be true that and know that how powerful the curve is if you know curve you can do almost anything you want period you don't need a bunch of sliders you don't need a bunch of whatever like a old kind of thing you have to make sure that you took your photograph in camera make sure your exposures are right and everything uh highlights and make sure that it's not too noisy there we have other things for that and then that's it you can get perfect color and perfect exposure out of your for out of your image just by using curve you almost can do 80 percent of your work right there and rest uh, stays with the sharpness and 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 noise reduction if you know how to use curve you can do anything you want i hope this uh tutorial helped you to understand curve it took me a lot of time for me to understand so i get it if you still have some kind of confusion feel free to ask any question in the description below also see the video over and over again until you um, have the graphs of understanding follow exactly what i did it doesn't have to be silky Peaks developer studio pro it doesn't have to be uh, any specific software if you have any editing software uh, in your computer in your desktop you should have curve it does exactly the same job so use it try it it will be better than you were i hope you all the best and see you next time bye bye